Previously we looked at partial differentiation, where only one variable changed at a time and the other variable was kept constant. Now in reality all variables may be changing at the same time. In this section we look at the change or the error in some quantity when there are small changes in all of the variables associated with this quantity. So let's have a look at a situation where we have small changes in the variables associated with some quantity z. Now if z is a function of u and v, and du and dv are the small changes taking place in u and v, then we can approximate the overall change in z as dz du, the rate of change of z with respect to u, times the change in u, plus dz dv, the rate of change of z with respect to v, times dv, the small change in v. So let's have a look now at a question that involves three variables. Here we're given a function y, which is equal to w times s to the power of 3 over d to the power of 4. And we're asked to find the percentage change in y when w increases by 2%, s decreases by 3%, and d increases by 1%. So we could rewrite y as w times s to the power of 3 times d to the power of minus 4. And we saw earlier that the approximate overall change in y could be written as the rate of change of y with respect to w times the small change in w, plus the rate of change of y with respect to s times the small change in s, plus the rate of change of y with respect to d times the small change in d. So differentiating y with respect to w keep being s and d constant will give s to the power of 3 over d to the power of 4. Differentiating y with respect to s, keeping w and d constant, will give 3 times w, s, w times s to the power of 2 over d to the power of 4. And differentiating y with respect to d, keeping w and s constant, will be minus 4 times w s to the power of 3 times d to the power of minus 5 and d to the power of minus 5 is 1 over d to the power of 5. Now we're told in the question that the small change in w, or w, increases by 2%, so that means dw is equal to 0.02 times w. And we saw that s decreases by 3%, so the change in s, or the small change in s, is going to be minus 0.03 times s, and d increased by 1%, so the small change in d will be 0.01 times d. So substituting these values for the partial derivatives and the small changes into the overall change in y gives the following expression. And if we multiply this out, we get the following. And as you can see, each term becomes w s to the power of 3 over d to the power of 4. So if we add these up, we get minus 0.11 times w s to the power of 3 over d to the power of 4. But w times s to the power of 3 over d to the power of 4 is in fact y. So in other words, the overall change in y is going to be a decrease of 11%. In the next question, we're given the standard equation for the power consumed by a resistor, which is v squared over r, and we're asked to determine the approximate change in the power when the voltage v changes by 3% and the resistance r decreases by 0.4%. The original value of V and R are 40 volts and 8 ohms respectively. So we could rewrite the equation for the power as V squared times R to the power of minus 1. And the approximate change in the power is given as the rate of change of the power with respect to the voltage times the small change in the voltage plus the rate of change of the power with respect to the resistance times the small change in resistance. So differentiating the power with respect to the voltage, keeping the resistance constant, gives 2 times V over R. And differentiating the power with respect to the resistance, keeping the voltage constant, will give minus V squared over R squared. Now we're told that the small change in the voltage is 3%, or an increase in 3%, which is 0.03 times V. And the change in resistance is a decrease of 0.4% which is minus 0 0.004 times R. So if we substitute the small changes and the partial derivatives into the overall um, approximate change in power, we get the following expression. And if we multiply this out, and if we add, we get 0 0.064 V squared over R. 
So in other words, the power increases by approximately 6.4%. So the overall approximate change in the power is going to be 6.4% of V squared over R. So substituting 40 for the voltage and 8 for the resistance, we get approximately an increase of 13 watts. Now here's a question that you could try. In this question, you're told that the current flowing in an electric circuit is given by Ohm's law, which is I is equal to V over R. And you're asked to calculate the approximate change in the current if the voltage decreases from 120 volts to 118 volts and the resistance increases from 200 ohms to 200.4 ohms. And the answer is given as minus 0.0112 of an amp. So you should pause the video and see if you can do this question. If you're stuck or you would like to check your solution, let the video run and see the final solution. So we're told that the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance, which we could also write as V times R to the power of minus one. So in other words, the current is a function of the voltage and the resistance, or it depends on the voltage and the resistance. So as before, we could write that the approximate change in the current is equal to the rate of change of the current with respect to the voltage times the small change in the voltage plus the rate of change of the current with respect to the resistance times the small change in resistance. So if we differentiate the current with respect to the voltage keeping the resistance constant, we get one, the IDV is equal to 1 over R. And if we differentiate the current with respect to the resistance keeping the voltage constant, we differentiate r to the power of minus 1, which gives us minus r to the power of minus 2, which is 1 over r squared. So therefore, the i dr is equal to minus v over r squared. Now we're told in the question, or we can work out that the change in voltage is minus 2 volts, and the change in resistance is 0.4 ohms. So if we substitute these small changes and the uh, partial derivatives into the overall approximate change in the current, we get 1 over r times minus 2 plus minus v over r squared times 0.4. Now we know that the initial resistance is 200 ohms and the initial voltage is 120 volts. So if we substitute r and v into equation 1, we get the following. And if we calculate this, we get minus 0.01 minus 0.0012, which is minus 0.0112 of an amp. So in other words, the approximate change in the current is a decrease of 0.0112 of an amp.